Good morning, guys. Welcome back to my channel. And welcome back to this nose. It has been a hot minute since I've talked to you guys. Hello. Um, I look crazy right now because I just woke up, but I wanted to open this package with you guys on camera because our really good friends are stationed in Germany and they sent us a package of like candy, I think it is. And I'm super excited to open it. So it's a bunch of candy like from Germany and I thought that you guys might find it interesting. I, I'm not really 100% sure what she sent us, but I thought it might be fun to kind of open on camera together. So I'm just gonna open it. So today is Thursday, I believe. Today is Thursday, September 10th. I'm not sure when you guys are gonna see this, hopefully soon after I film it, but um, I happen to be off of work this week because um, the doctor is on vacation, I think. So um, the office was just closed, so I'm off this week. And if you guys don't know, I'm an orthodontic assistant. I work in a dental office, I work in an orthodontic office. Oh my gosh, there is like <laughs> so much stuff in here. Look how much stuff is in here. Okay, I just deleted some footage on my camera from like back at our old house in Florida, which is so funny. It's like funny how fast, you know, like your life changes and how different things were. Um, anyway, so let's go ahead and see what we got. Any of you guys have been to Germany or are stationed in Germany or are from Germany, comment down below and let me know which of these things you like or which of these things you don't like. So this first thing is a bag of Lay's um, potato chips and it looks like there's a roasted chicken on the front. I'm not even going to attempt to say these words because I'm going to butcher them. So there's like a rotisserie chicken on the front. So I'm sure those will be good though. They look good. And then the next thing is it looks like, like a monkey bread mixture of some sort. Quark, uh, schmarn. I'm probably butchering this. Okay, it has uh, things on the back, like instructions. So I'm gonna have to ask her how to make this. But from the picture, it looks pretty good. Like it looks almost like French toast or like monkey bread or something like that. So that looks really good. That's cool, I'm glad that she sent that. And then this is, it's it's hard for me to tell you guys what these things are because I don't, I can't read this. So Dickman's Choco Strollshi. Um, they look like little, just like little chocolates. I don't know. So that's what that looks like. Um, let's see. These are Minnie's black and white. They look like possibly like chocolate covered cookies, like white chocolate covered cookies, maybe. So those look good. This all looks really good. Oh my gosh, she sent me a headband. <gasps> you guys know I love headbands. How cute is this one? That was from Germany, so cute, I love this. I love, love headbands if you guys didn't know. Um, oh my gosh, she sent me a scrunchie too. <gasps> Two scrunchies, cheetah print, my favorite. I love cheetah print. And they're like velvet too, those felt good. Um, let's see, we've got a couple, oh my gosh, she sent so much stuff. This had to have like cost her so much money. These are wafers, okay, so this is a hula hula coconut wafer. That looks good. This one is, it looks like a, oh, it looks like, you know what it looks like? Chocolate with like, um, what's that cereal? Frosted Flakes. I know it's not focusing on the packaging. There we go. And then this one looks like, uh, like a cracker under the chocolate. So that looks really good. So we've got those things. Sherman, oh my Lord, they won't leave me alone. They're both right here. You guys can't see them, I'll show you. Nosy butts and they stink. Um, okay, so this next thing is Frit Minis. Um, they look like there's six in here. Okay, it looks like pow like it's a powder packet of some sort. I don't know if this is like for a drink or if it's for like you know like the powdered candy. So that's interesting. Okay, she sent so many gummies, which. I love, love, love gummies. So I think I told her that too because she was asking me like what we like. These look like raspberry gummies and they're like little animals. They're all Haribo. These ones look so good. I love the gummies that have like the white 
on there. I don't know how to explain it. I feel like those always taste really good. But they're just like little gummy bears, all different colors. And then this one, oh my gosh, rainbow unicorns. Those all look so good. So we have that. <clears throat> and then, sorry, I have, I don't have a cold, but I think like from our bedroom, having the fan on blast like makes me wake up with a stuffy nose. Anyways, these are Kinder Happy Hippos. Now I've heard of these before, never had them, but they look really good. It's just like chocolate. So it looks like chocolate with cream and some crunchy coat on the bottom of some sort. So that looks really good. And then we're into the last few things that here. So she sent us a big bag of chocolate bars. So there's all different kinds in here. A lot of these Duplo coconut, like coconut ones, Duplo Cocos, but I'm, it has a coconut, so I'm assuming that's coconut. And then there's some Lion Nestle Peanut Sweet and Salty Chocolate Bar. There's a few, there's just a bunch in here. You guys can kind of look and see if you recognize any of these, but there's a bunch of chocolate bars in there. You guys, we're gonna be set on candy for like the next little bit. And then the last thing she sent, which I'm really excited about. It looks like a little, like a chocolate assortment little thing and it says Kinder Happy Moments Mini Mix. So it has a bunch of like varieties of the different chocolates in there. So, oh, sorry, I have the hiccups. That's what it looks like. So yeah, thanks Bridget and Brian for sending us all that stuff. I'm so excited to try it all and I can't wait for Devin to get home because he's gonna wanna try a bunch of that stuff tonight. So I'm gonna put everything back in this box. Um, I may like vlog a little bit today. Um, honestly, I really just haven't posted because we've just been so busy and you know, just like with adjusting to all the changes and I started my new job. So I work, you know, throughout the week and Devin started his job and stuff like that. I, I, I'm not sure. I don't think I've updated you guys. I think the last video I put on here was our house tour. I think so yeah if you guys have like anything that you want me to talk about any like kind of like a Q&A type of video if you want me to do one of like how life has been since Devin has been quote unquote out of the military he technically his separation date is not until this weekend um, but he's been on terminal leave and he already started his new job and everything so he's like basically out of the military um, he's just been still getting a paycheck so yeah, if you guys want to know a little bit more about how life has been because like, you know, our everything has totally changed like, you know, with the bills that we pay and stuff like that. Now we have to pay for insurance and everything like that. So life has been as if he's out of the military, even though technically he's not out yet. He just has a few more days left. So um, yeah, if you guys want to hear about that, I can't believe I'm literally on camera like this right now. My hair looks nuts, um, but not like I care. I come on here like this all the time. But anyways, I'm just sitting here at my dining room table. Um, like I said, I'm off today. Devin is at work right now, so I have no real plans for the day. Um, I might show you guys some stuff like around the house because a lot has changed since I showed you my house tour. We've gotten a lot of new furniture. We have rearranged a lot of stuff. Um, we've actually got quite a bit new furniture since you guys have seen it last. I don't even know if you guys have seen the dining room table on the vlog since we got it. We've rearranged the living room. We got our bedroom furniture. Everything is like a little bit more put together. So maybe I'll straighten up around the house and kind of show you guys around. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, it is, I can't even look at my phone. It's under all the candy. It's 1030, which uh, I just got up like maybe an hour ago. I woke up at like 845, but I laid in bed for a while because why do I need to get up? And I ate some waffles for breakfast and that's it. I'm drinking some water. I'll probably straighten up the house and um, maybe get ready and then I'll come back and talk to you guys. But yeah, I just wanted to pick up the camera today because I miss you guys and I feel like I haven't talked to you in forever. And I wanted to get a video up because I just feel like I've been MIA. Um, so yeah, and I haven't known like what to film. Like we've just been like had so much going on, just like, you know, hanging out with family since we've been back and just like being busy and stuff like that. So um, anyways, I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. I will catch up with you in a little bit once I've gotten ready and stuff. Okay, you guys, it's been quite a while since I picked up the camera. I had a little bit of an eventful morning. Do you hear him? Drama. 
Um, I had a little bit of an eventful morning because I came into the kitchen and I was doing some dishes, cleaning up, and then, sorry, I'm like out of breath because I just ran to get the camera. Um, and I looked under the sink and there was water everywhere. So I'll show you guys. Everything looks a lot better now. But I came in here and I looked under here and there was like water everywhere. And so it was coming from this little part right here and I cleaned everything up and it was like kind of loose so I tightened it and now nothing else is leaking. So hopefully that's all that it was, but yeah. So anyways, I fixed that, I think. And Devin's home from work now. He is running. He's going on a run. I don't run, so I stayed home. Um, and then we're gonna go out in a little bit to go exchange some scrubs he bought that don't fit him. And then I think we're gonna just grab something to eat. But I thought I would show you guys a little bit around the house of things you haven't seen since I last vlogged for you guys and showed you guys like what the house looked like kind of soon after we moved in. So things look a little bit different. I'll try not to spend too much time explaining everything, but I know a lot of you guys will probably ask where some things are from, so I'll just tell you. Um, but yeah, so I'm in the living room right now. The living room looks a lot different. I think you guys will like the living room a lot better, so let me show you. So this is the front door. I'm still trying to find a rug that I like for right there. And I ended up putting the dog's food bowl stand right there. I get a lot of questions about that. We actually had somebody make that for us. Um, at Eglin, so unfortunately I can't um, like tell you a store of where it's from. This is the dining room table we went with. It is pretty small, and these sides right here fold down, so they like fold down to make the table even smaller. It actually came with two chairs, but they gave us two extra chairs for free because we went to the warehouse and picked it up ourselves. So we do have four chairs. I really like it. It was pretty inexpensive for a nicer dining room table. Um, I believe we paid just under 400 for the whole set. Like I said, they did throw in two extra chairs for free. So we got it from a local furniture store. However, um, it is the brand Ashley Furniture. So you guys could probably find it on their website. So that's that. And then I know I've, I think I showed this I don't believe I showed this, but um, I did show it on my Instagram. You know what? I feel like I showed this in a video, but for some reason, I didn't think you guys had seen the table yet. Maybe you guys have. I just don't remember. Anyways, we got that from at home, so that looks pretty cute right there. I want to get like a valance to hang there, and I want to get valances across here. I don't want to do like big long curtains. I want to do valances instead. The kitchen pretty much looks exactly the same. It might be a little bit different. But for the most part, the kitchen looks the same. And then this is what the living room looks like now. I think you guys will like the living room. Um, sorry, the camera was like turning. It does that. We put the couch over in the corner. Um, that's how I wanted it originally. I think it looks a lot better this way. It makes it more open. I get so many questions about this rug. And I really want a new one. <laughs> um, it looks nice on camera. But in person, it is pretty like worn down. Um, it is supposed to be colored like that. I know it kind of makes it look dirty, but it's really not. Um, it is like really worn down though. We got it secondhand from someone who lived on base at Eglin about, I want to say like a year, year and a half ago. So we've had it for a while. Um, and we got this, which is an eight by 10. And we also got a runner, but we put it up when the movers came with the furniture. Here's Devin coming back from his run. I'm vlogging. You want to say hi? What's up? <laughs> so, um, anyways, they gave us this and the runner for 50 bucks, which was like so cheap for a rug of this size. But like I said, it's pretty old, so I do kind of want to get a new one in the near future, but we'll see. But we just put the living room like this. I really like it this way. We hung that little sign above the couch. We've got our lamp, the boys' toys. And another thing, by the way, yes, that's dog hair. <laughs> Um, I really want to get a new TV stand, like an actual TV stand. This one is like a coffee table, but I want to get like a TV stand, like a proper TV stand. And then we've got our blanket ladder. So that's that. And then the only other thing that I wanted to show you guys, um, the bathroom looks the same. We did hang up like some pics on the walls. This is what the guest room looks like. I still need to get, let me turn on a light. I still need to get bedding for this room. Sorry, it's pretty yellow. At least it looks like that on my camera. Um, we got this bed off Wayfair. It was like under 
it is pretty cheap feeling um but you know for 200 bucks you can't beat it and it's a full size so we got the mattress from target online I just need to get some bedding for it and then we got this little desk at Walmart so I still like I don't know I want to get like maybe a little end table here maybe like a mirror here we need to get a chair for the desk I have some ideas for this room but we're not in a super big rush we also have this little stand over here and I also use this closet for my clothes um, some of my clothes so anyways that's that We've got the bathroom. Um, this room is a hot mess. That's where we keep the dogs crate and also a bunch of extra stuff. So I won't go in there, but this is our bedroom. Let me know if you guys like it. I love it. You guys know if you've been watching me for a long time, our old bedroom, like we've never had a real bedroom set. So when we moved, I was so excited to get like a real bedroom set, like an adult bedroom set. So we got this rug from Lowe's. We need rug tape because the rug has been down for a few weeks now and we even sat like furniture on it, but nothing is keeping it down. We used these little like rug stickers from Target, but they didn't work. So I'm thinking we're gonna need like some strong rug tape. So I don't know, we got the set Lowe's recently so you guys should still be able to find it. Um, our bedroom set is from Value City Furniture. So we do have a king bed in here. It is a tight squeeze, like over here, this is the nightstand. Like I kind of can't go into the closet from over there, but you know, it's fine. I don't really need to get in that way anyway. So this is Devin's side, this is his nightstand. Um, the bedding is from Target. It's the Project 62 brand. It looks kind of purple on camera, but it's a gray and it's really soft. I like it. That pillow is also from Target. And then we just put some like white blackout curtains. They don't really black out in here, but it's fine. And our dresser, we just got, um, because it, the one original one had come in damaged, so we had to wait longer for it. But kind of a bummer, it came damaged right there. I don't know if you guys can see. And the little handle is like wobbly, so I have to call and have them fix it. Well, the boys are just helping themselves to the bed, so. Yep, this is our dresser, and I just put some cute little stuff on here. I got this little, what do you call these? Uh, <laughs> honestly, I don't know what this is called. I know the word is on the tip of my tongue, I just can't think of it. Um, but I got this at TJ Maxx, and then over here is my side of the bed. And I've got my phone, charger, and you know, just some stuff by my nightstand. And then I hung up this picture, which we had in our old house, I did a collab with this brand. I did a collab with them and got this picture. So this is the like stars the night we got married. So yeah, that's really all of the little updates I have. We also hung up that little canvas of Devin, me, and Sherman. We need to get some pics done with this little boy, huh Marvin? What do you think? Do you guys think Marvin looks big? To me, he still looks pretty little. He's probably about 65 pounds now and he's a lot more solid than his brother because Sherman's 80 pounds and obviously is much bigger than Marvin. Um, boy. Handsome boy. Hello, it is the next day. I know I look so beautiful right now. You don't have to tell me. It is Friday night. It's 5.50. I'm making some rice on the stove because we're gonna have like leftover chicken for dinner. And I just wanted to kind of like wrap this video up. I did go like shopping today. I won't really call it shopping. I went to Target, TJ Maxx, and Home Goods, and I just got like a few things. But I thought you guys might want to see what I got. And it's an interesting array of items. So I thought I would show you. Sorry, I have the hiccups. I thought I would show you. So I just thought I would show you what I got today. So you guys know I mentioned yesterday how. Woo, let's focus. I mentioned our sink issue and how the drains I think are clogged. Well, I thought I fixed it. Turns out I didn't fix it actually. And my dad thinks that the drain is clogged. So he told me to get some Drano. So I got this. I'm gonna put that down the sink. Sorry, it keeps going in and out of focus. I got this at um, Home Goods. It's just a like LED candle. I got that because my grandma got me this super cute Frankenstein little like lantern thing for Halloween. And I thought this would look cute inside of it, so I got that. And then tomorrow is Devin's like official last day in the military. So every year, if you guys follow me on Instagram, I always make him a cake every year with a candle that says what number of years he's been in. 
and um, this year I thought I would do brownies because it's his last one. He loves brownies. And I got this icing because I'm going to try to put it in like a plastic Ziploc bag and like cut the tip off and write on it. I could have got the icing where you like write actually where it has like the tip for writing stuff but those were like $4 and this was $1.50 so I thought I could just try and if not it's not a big deal <laughs> if it doesn't work. And then my dad told me to get some of these. Usually I just use um, like actual lemon slices to clean our disposal like I just put the lemon slice in there and then I run it and it makes it smell really good. But I don't think our disposal here is like very strong like I don't think it can handle very much so I got these instead. They were like $4, which was kind of expensive in my opinion for these little things, but you just let it sit in the um, disposal and you run it for like 20 seconds and then you rinse it out and it's supposed to make it smell good and cleans it, so I got that. My powder shattered, so I got this Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. This is not the one I usually get, but they didn't have the other kind that I get, which is the Rimmel Stay Matte, so I got that one in translucent. And then I got these cute earrings from Target. Let's see if it will focus. Hello. They are the A New Day brand, and if you guys know me, um, I love pearl earrings, but the ones I have are like super old, like I'm not kidding, they're from middle school. And I also have my second holes pierced, and I never put earrings in them, so I wanted like a really small pearl set with some diamonds so I can wear them. This was only like $7.99, I just needed some like new like everyday earrings, so I got that. And then at TJ Maxx, I got this blanket. I thought it would be super cute, it was only $15. I thought it would be really cute on the couch. <laughs> Even though it's not put together. I thought it would be really cute on the couch for fall. So that's why I got that and then also I got this shirt from Target. It is the I think it's the Universal Thread brand. Let's see. Yeah, Universal Thread and it's just this really cute like it's got these like little puffy sleeves and it's like you can't even tell what it looks like on camera. Let me show you. I'll set the camera down. This is what the shirt looks like. It looks like this. It looks kind of big, but it's just a medium is what I normally wear. Um, but I thought this would be cute for fall and to wear to church and stuff like that. I thought it would be pretty. And it was like $25, which is usually more than I like to spend on a shirt. Honestly, I usually like to get my clothes at TJ Maxx or like Walmart or something. But um, I just saw it and I liked it and I got it. And I also looked at TJ Maxx. They didn't really have anything that I liked. So that's all I got. But yeah, hopefully you guys liked this little vlog. Also, please forgive me. My brain is like elsewhere. I realized that when I was vlogging earlier, you know, like earlier in the vlog, like yesterday, I was talking about our dining room table and I, what? Are you filming? I'm naked. Yeah. <laughs> and I realized that I had already showed you guys the table in another video. So excuse me. You just got to see it twice and let me explain it twice to you guys. You guys know I like to talk. So anyways, um, yeah, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I was going to try to sit you guys down, but never mind. But yeah, I'll see you guys. And I think my focus is like messed up here. I need to change it. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I love you so much. And make sure you check out my last videos and subscribe for more. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.